Thomas Uptown T shucks oysters here at Pascal's Manali quickly, effortlessly, sometimes without even looking at what he's doing. It's like a key to a lock. If the key fit the lock and it tumbles, the door is open. Watching him is like witnessing a master artist in a kind of ritualized performance art who clearly loves what he does. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh man, they're gorgeous. Nice and plump, real firm right now. And to those of us who love oysters, it is mouthwatering just to watch people slurp down that tasty raw treasure like this couple at Drago's in Metairie. Looks good. But the focus of this story is the part of this ritual that most of us don't even think about. All those shells that are left over, just thrown away. You know, there's nothing better to build an oyster bed with than reused oyster shells. Tommy Satanovich says Drago's has been recycling oyster shells on its own for about 10 years. A local oyster fisherman picking up a trailer of shells once a week, laying them out to dry and cure in St. Bernard for about six months, then loading them onto a boat and with a water cannon blowing the shells back into the Gulf. This is the fastest way to rebuild oyster reefs and oyster beds. And now Drago's, Manali's, and a couple dozen other restaurants are part of an additional recycling program that the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana has put together to build an oyster reef. One of the ways that, um, that we can protect the shoreline is with, by creating what's called a living shoreline, uh, which is a reef that's made of living organisms, in this case oysters. Deborah Abibu says Shell Oil has provided a $1 million grant for the effort. A year and a half into it, the coalition has built a couple of small mountains of recycled oyster shells here in Buras, just over 50 miles south of the city. And volunteers are funneling shells into nylon mesh bags. We love getting, you know, volunteers involved in these shell baggings, but there's only so much that you can do with your own manpower. This shell hopper that Coastal Environment Incorporated has loaned is the newest twist, helping to automate the process allows you to bag oysters really quickly to fill up these shoreline protective devices. The bags of shells will be stacked into these gabion construction baskets, eventually formed into a reef and placed here in Lake Athanasio near the Gulf Outlet in the Biloxi Marsh of St. Bernard Parish. So far we've bagged 3,000 bags. We need about 30,000 bags before we actually move the project into the water. Once in the water, organizers say these shells will prevent coastal erosion and promote healthier marine life by attracting so-called oyster spat. Because oyster larvae like to attach to oyster shells better than other things. If a spat attaches to an oyster shell, obviously it's gonna be able to pull some of the minerals from that oyster shell. The baby oysters settle, they grow, and then it becomes a living structure. And that provides habitat for um, not only the oysters themselves, but for fish and other marine life. Plus the reef just offshore will also help stop coastal erosion. And that's one reason volunteer Al Duvernay says he's out here. It'll help uh, uh, prevent the waves from, from destroying the marsh behind, behind the barrier. It uh, breaks up the wave action. It allows the, the, the sediment to settle out of the water. And uh, that will allow the, the land to build up behind it, therefore protecting the, the shoreline and hopefully creating a little bit of land behind it. And so this is really a win-win uh, because we're getting to keep all of this material out of our landfills and use it to restore our coast. They have 1,650 tons of oyster shells at this site here in Buras. Their half mile long reef will consist of 700 tons of oyster shells, but they need more volunteers to make that happen, hopefully by sometime this summer. Back in Metairie, workers are organizing containers of shells from Drago's restaurant in Jackson, Mississippi, which is also recycling for the reef. But even with tons of free shells from participating restaurants, this program is costly. The shell recycling alone costs close to $40,000 a month. And the, the reef construction is on the order of um, $300,000. But the benefits are rich. As organizers say, once you shuck them, don't just chuck them. It's a delicious way to save the coast. Dennis Waltering, Eyewitness News.